Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Louis Aguirre. Look at stories making headlines on this Wednesday. We begin with a developing story in New York. Authorities say a car exploded at the Rainbow Bridge in Niagara Falls, killing two people. Video shows the blast that happened at a security checkpoint. The car explosion has closed all four border crossings in western New York between the U.S. and Canada. The Buffalo Airport has closed two international flights for now. It's still too early to say if this was a terror attack or an unintentional act. A death investigation underway after a body was found in a truck parked outside of Walmart in Davie. Sky 10 above the scene on South University Drive and Griffin Road. Detectives say they are still in the initial stages of the investigation and have not revealed the person's age or gender or if foul play was involved. Two families forced out of their homes after a massive fire in Little Havana. The fire happened Tuesday night on Flagler and Northwest 21st Avenue. The flames destroyed one apartment's kitchen. Fire rescue is still investigating what caused the fire, but they believe the flames might have started in the kitchen of one of the units. One woman was treated with smoke inhalation, but is expected to be okay. The Red Cross is currently helping those displaced. New details after a deadly shooting in Tamarack. Police arresting Damian Dawkins in connection with the shooting. Deputies responding to reports of shots fired at Sunny's Car Wash Factory near Knob Hill Road and State Street. Investigators say a female employee claimed she was being harassed by another man who worked at the car wash. Moments after the woman was sent home because she didn't feel safe, the victim was allegedly gunned down by Dawkins. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a great night.